Okay, so now we have put the modem, the scientific Atlanta modem of Sky Cable to connected with the router, Linksys E1200. And the problem is uh, it has no internet. As you can see on the screen, yes, it is connected with the, the computer is connected with the E1200, but there has no internet. Now to fix this, we just have to access the router and the default uh, IP address of the router is 192.168.1.1 that's the default um, IP address of the Linksys E1200 and the default password of uh, uh, username and password is admin and the password is also admin here we could access the the linksys uh, firmware where we could uh, edit the ip address now if in by any case you cannot access your router you just have to go to the search button and type command and here it's an M ms dos prompt just type ip config so you can see you could see the default gateway that's 192.168.1.1 because this is the default ip address of the linksys e1200 now what we're going to do is to edit the ip address so that it has an internet if you can see in the status bar of linksys e1200 here in the IPv in the internet connection, it has no uh, no internet IP address, no default gateway. So that's the reason there's no internet connection. So to fix this, you you just have to change your IP address to 5 there and uh, save the settings after saving the settings you just have to both uh, reboot called reboot the Linksys E1200 Cisco and the modem scientific Atlanta of Sky Cable by the way if you're going to let the sky cable fix this it will charge you 200 pesos so theoretically i'm just doing it in the linksys router but you could do this in other routers but of course i tried also the tenda uh, tenda routers and it will not work i don't know why but i think it's the compatibility so then again After the cold reboot, uh, you will notice that uh, there's an internet connection already. To verify it, I'm going to show you what we have done. You're going to access the router again. It's for, But this time, the IP address is changed because we changed it. It's 192.168.100.5. Uh, I'm sorry, the 5. So the last time we accessed the router, it was 192.168.1.1. That's the default um, IP address. But this time, since we changed it, uh, it's already 192.168.1.5. As we enter, it's asking for our username, still the same, admin, and the password is still admin. There and there, we are in the firmware of the router. We're inside the firmware of the router. And as you can see, we already changed it by 192.168.100.5. So to access the firmware of the router, Linksys router, we just have to type this IP address to the browser. Now, 
if you try to look at the status there uh, earlier uh, we don't have this data on the internet connection but now we already have a data we have already the default gateway of uh, the sky cable which is the 10.10.32.1 this is their default gateway and their default dns this is what they're using so you would know really you would know really if you're connected if you got already this data so that's it uh, all this lesson will gonna cost you 200 pesos if if you let sky cable do the fixing do the work so hope this would help and uh, subscribe and please do comment if you do you do have questions thank you